Hey, welcome back to the channel. Day before Thanksgiving, but you will probably see this Thanksgiving day. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, hope you're enjoying having fun with the family. Uh, our plan is to, we're eating at noon and watch a little Lions football. Hopefully they uh, beat up on the Green Bay Packers. Never know. Uh, that's why they play the game, right? I don't know how much of that I'll actually watch. Um, I'm going to want to be working on these tractors. And I might do some deer hunting. So, well, today, um, I'm getting, oh, I got the copper spray stuff for the gaskets. I'm going to get these all sprayed down. Um, probably won't video that because I don't want to get any of this stuff on the camera. Uh, these things cost too much. But, hey, we're going to get start putting things back together. Um, here, while that's shaking up, we'll look at the first time. Here's my head that I got from the old Minnesota guy. So, got a little more cleaning to do there before I put the gaskets on. I'm trying to clean that up. I stole this technique here, which I don't know if he made it up or not, from Ross the Oliver Man. Um, that's been on there a few days. I'm not going to work so hard. and uh, Actually, I'll finish this as that stuff's drying. Um, anyways, I'm going to use that coffee uh, container there and put all them in and uh reuse them just like he does but he uh he looks like he puts them in an old uh you know peanut butter jar or something or other whatever so hey that's good, good thinking so all right well i'm gonna get these all sprayed down with the old permatex copper stuff spray then i'll bring you back okay i think i'm ready are you ready <laughs> where do i put you Okay. Okay. Piston, stay in there. Before you go down yet. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get a little higher. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Here goes something. Whether it's right, wrong. That's a lot of like work. Okay. That's what I look at. Okay. Whew. All right. D. D. Okay. Okay. Got that part on. I got it on the crack side. Okay. Okay, now I gotta put the rod caps on. Or I don't have to, but it's easier. Well, not you. No. I'm gonna do it now, I guess. Or at least get, I gotta put oil. I wanna put oil on the, on the bearing uh, before I put it on the crank, or put oil on the crank at least, or some kind of lube. Anyway, so I'm going to do that real quick, getting that tightened up, Whew, and I'll bring you back. Okay, well, I got the this block on. Okay, it's the next day. I, uh, I went out hunting this morning. Uh, did make a mistake. I bought some of them gas station snack sticks last night, thinking, oh, it'll be a good snack to eat this morning, you know in the hunting blind and well my morning was cut short 
I guess you can probably figure out why. So, all right. Well, they got me up to the shop earlier, and I had some leftover coffee in my Stanley thermos there. So I'm going to drink that real quick or while we're doing this. And we're going to put some heads on. Mmm, still hot. That's good. That's good. All right. So, you know, I also got to thinking, I think I might have an extra hose around here. It'd be a used hose for that Jetstar 3, but I'm trying not to hop back and forth projects. But <clears throat> So, we're going to put some heads on today. Um, I did get my, um, I got the center block on, back in. It's on. The rods are hooked back up. I greased them, or I greased them, oiled them up. Uh, the bearings back up before I put them back together. Uh, my book says 70 to 75 foot pounds of torque on those rod caps. So that's what I did. Oh, 80 pounds on the bigger ones. On the 1050 and non diesel. I, I'm just reading, but 80 to 85 it says on the 1350 diesel and that 585. Huh. Interesting. So let's read ahead here a little bit and look for the heads so we know ahead of time <laughs> no pun intended on what the uh, uh spec is for that oh camshaft rocker arms all right here we go yeah this book gives you 19, 900 950 okay there's the sequence right there if you can see that this is an int book I'm just looking here. 707, 950 diesel. Tighten all 960 inch inch stud bolts to torque 130 to 135. And all the 5 8 stud nuts to 170 to 175 using the sequence in 70. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, we'll, we're, we're a little ways from that point, but now we know ahead of time. Um, and I've also got it, so number one cylinder's top dead, top dead center at the moment. Um, that'll ease up things. I'm going to leave the oil pan off, too, so I can know when whatever cylinder is all the way up. So when we're setting the valves, uh, the valve uh, lash or whatever you call it. So, yeah, we'll... That's just, you know, a little bit of thinking head saves you, you know, guessing. So, okay, well, we're going to put the heads back on. Then I'm going to put the manifold, uh, exhaust manifold on, tighten that up. Then we're going to tighten down the heads. The reason you do that is so you get the heads all straight in line uh, with your manifold, I should say. Maybe not exactly straight, but your manifold will seal up better and that helps later in life so okay well i'm gonna grab all three heads and put them on we're gonna put the remand head well i shouldn't say that it is uh remand head back on the uh five and six just like the that was but first some more coffee thank you stanley for your service uh, 38 degrees out today ginger is uh well my wife's getting ready for uh thanksgiving here with the with uh all my kids and my mom and dad are coming over and you know how dogs are she just wanted her out of the house so i said hey well i'll just take her out with me and she's usually not too much trouble so what are you doing hey are you gonna dig any holes ginger's over a year old already can you believe that she's a palm ski in case it's the first time you've seen her Pomeranian and Husky, we were told. Wow. Um, they got a male and we got a fe we got the female. This is Ginger. They named her their dog Banks. I don't know where they come up with that. Banks Monroe or whatever. Hey, 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 family channel. No none of that here. So okay. You keep being you, that's fine. Alright, back to work. Sorry. I'm gonna set you down right there. Okay, now we just got to make sure, yeah, I put it on the correct way, because I think it would only fit one way, as you recall, 
all the injectors are come this way, so that's pretty pretty easy to remember. Okay. Okay. There's one on. One nice thing, gonna make a lot more room on my uh, bench here. Actually, tested. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. They're still heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Causing trouble, are you? Mm -hmm. I want to drop that down in there. Cause issues. Okay. <laughs> Okay, one more. Okay, it's already looking better, isn't it? All right, now I gotta remember what to do with the manifold and the bolts. The bolts, I know. That. Okay, let's grab that. I think the gaskets. Where are the gaskets? They're in this box. We're gonna need those. One, two, and a three. All right. Okay, cool, 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 all right, actually, we're going to put that on like that, no, no, I don't think that, that's not fit down there very good. That fits a little better. Not awesome though. Seems to me that these, well, I guess the old ones. Okay, I was, well, I was thinking this is, uh, would also work for an LP. Um, they didn't have gasolines in the 950s. Um, but anyways, this would have LP, the intake port would be in this hole here the old ones they had that hole too that wasn't used okay i'm gonna have to grab the studs out of my um other block or head i should say and put them in there so or hold the phone oh i got them right here okay cool yeah, they're right here. This'll work. We're good. All right, I gotta find the manifold. Whatever I did, I want to right there on the floor. Okay, this is probably where I could use some help, but one good thing, I've got these two here to help hold. All right. 
Let's turn this this way. Whoop. That's gonna fall down. And that's gonna fall down. Oh jeez. Too much stuff. Okay. I gotta set you down somewhere here. There. I think you can see there. Take a couple minutes. I'm gonna clean this manifold up. I sprayed a little bit of that copper stuff on the, this manifold too. There's a few pits. <clears throat> on it. So, all right. Oh boy. This is definitely where I could use another hand. Ginger. Okay. Okay, that should stay there now. Okay, now we can put this one on. It's gonna be a little bit trickier. did tap tap the holes just in case you're wondering before the ones that were out now I'm looking for my wrench I thought I had it one right here okay now let's start it Whining about the dog. Uh -huh. No need to whine. <clears throat> okay. Calling for snow on Sunday. I don't know how much.
right, there is that. Okay, now we can work on the heads again. So, okay, let's do that. Uh, push rods around that other side. Okay. Making progress. Okay, I'm back. I was just answering some texts and some emails and uh, messages. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving. And hey, I appreciate all the all the comments about Happy Thanksgiving. Um, oh, oh, it says at DS Brad commented about building a ZAU with his son for pulling. Was wondering what a better engine would be uh, to build to put in it. Well, I'm not into pulling. Not not against it. This just this not my thing, um, but ZA. Well, with the actual, I guess what class are you in? Does it have to be stock or stock looking? Um, you know the ZA. You're kind of limited. That's that's the biggest. I mean, you can bore them out a little bit, but I know I have seen some ZA ZBs with uh, newer 206 motor in there, you know, like out of a 445 or a Jetstar or whatever. Um, you know, like I said, depending on your class, um, if you could put those in, that would wake them up a little bit, you know, and they're, I would think a ZA, a ZA rear end would be tougher than a 445 or uh, Jetstar rear end, just because there's just more iron in them. Um, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's uh, sure there's quite a few pullers that you know watch the channel may be able to comment on your comment um, and uh, answer that question better than I do. Like I say, I'm not a puller. You know, I don't really you know build motors for anybody else. There's plenty of guys out there that do that do. So um, actually, your comment was 13 minutes ago. It says on here, just so you know. Um, and I do read everybody's comment. Sometimes I don't answer everybody's comment unless you ask a question and that's only if i know the answer truthfully that i answer um doo -doo -doo. <laughs> i just think it's funny and, and i know you guys can read all these comments um yeah my buddy brent texted me i won't repeat what he was saying just because uh oh well, i got an email yesterday i think well, it says I think it's view is, is it Sam because I, I I've looked back at your comments. I think it's Sam uh, You got a US cellular smartphone it says but anyway he sent me some pictures of uh, His tractors and stuff um, if I can figure out how to upload these well, I guess I don't have permission from you Sam So maybe I won't do that, but he sent me a picture of his family. Yeah, I, I wish you wait for permission and uh, Got a nice collection of Moline's looks like a m670 uh, 602 or is that an early m or early m670 actually i think it's a 60 no it's got the, those fenders i'm guessing that's an early 670 oh if i could see better that's a 445 utility it looks like possibly a 335 i thought he was looking for 335 900 diesel oh looks like a 1969 model that's cool <clears throat> i got a special place in my heart for he's got a john deere 70 Another Constellation series and a, oh, come here, my eyes. Sometimes it's hard from pictures there if you don't have the right stuff you're showing me, if I can tell between a five star, 445, you know, it's got a cross on the front. So definitely not a four star. So yeah, then another picture, he sent me a picture of his shop with a G1000, that G1000 is cool. Thanks for sharing those photos with me. You know, like I stop and, you know, ask somebody, you know, for tractors for sale or if I'm somewhere and they got tractors and, you know, I always ask, hey, can I look at your tractors? You know, because I love looking at old tractors, no matter what kind they are. Hey, and if they're not for sale, they're not for sale. So, hey, I just like to, I like to look at them, which I'm, I'm guessing most of you think the same way. So, okay, hey, I gotta get back to work, so. All right, let's, uh, okay. Where, oh, where did I put <laughs> all the bolts? nuts for the heads i think they're right here found them i put them all in the uh 
uh, valve cover. Alrighty then. Yeehaw. Alright, where's this one go? It one missing somewhere. This is a bigger one. So. One, two, three, right here. Oh, let me think. Which ones are the through holes? Because they'll leak coolant if you don't put sealant on there. Do, do, do. Oh, I don't remember. I'm not taking the head bag off. Yeah, sealant on these on these threads here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of stuff on there. Just in case. <clears throat> I don't remember if it's this one or not. That coolant can seep down, seep down that shaft and get down in your uh into your oil. You think of the head gaskets leaking when it actually it's just dripping down in there. Are you agreeing or disagreeing, Ginger? You probably need to go for a walk. All right. Oh, I don't think it needs that many washers on it. I must have did that to... these on well I'll just edit it out I'm gonna keep videoing but I'll just edit it all out Ooh, that's a little one you okay buddy okay we're back or I'm back well actually we're back I mean Jake's helping me so sequence, figured out, you know, number 70. This is for the diesel, except 1350. Um, the big ones, uh, which would be these four in the back and these three here, are supposed to be torqued, according to the book, 170 to 170 foot-pounds. And the smaller ones, these two, uh, and then these three uh, in the middle there, are included in the sequence but are supposed to be 130 to 135. So I've got two torque wrenches set up. That way I'm not switching back and forth. I'm gonna creep up on the foot poundage. Um, I'm gonna go through the sequence, tighten them all down to, I picked 70. Then I'll probably go to 100. Then I'll probably go to 100 and, you know, 25 or so. Um, then, uh, then go the rest of the way with both of them, so. Yep, just trying to, but we'll go through the same sequence every time. And I'll, I'll do all three heads, change my settings on the torque wrench, go through all three. It's going to take some time, but um, that's what proper way, I guess, you should do it, I guess. I've seen guys do it all different ways, but uh, I shouldn't say all different ways, but I've seen them do it before. Different ways. All right, we'll start out with the front one. Okay, according to the sequence, it's basically you start in the middle and you work your way out. So it's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and finish up with twelve. Kind of, kind of simple. Mm, kind of okay, so we'll start out with number one again. We're going to 70 foot-pounds I tighten them down quite a ways, but not all the way. All right, so there's that one, one. And two Okay Number three and yes, I do know these two here I'll have to take back off so I can put the rocker arms on but Still got it's still they're still included in this sequence or tightened down. So. All right. 
number four. Oh, need the other wrench for number four. You just can't get to those, can't get to the center one here with rocker wrench very well with a torque wrench. You can with a wrench or normal socket, but. All right, there's 70, or yeah, 70 pounds there. Okay, number five is down here. Okay, six over here. Seven is right here. Am I looking at the right picture? Nope, seven's over here. Not bad. I don't know what I was looking at. Okay, eight over here. Nine down here. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay. Cool. All right, well, I'm gonna do the other two, and I'll bring you back when I come up the poundage on this one. Yeah, put that at 100 for me. Okay, now we're gonna bump her up to 100, and do it all over again. Keep looking at the wrong one. Keep looking up at the gas one. Yeah, that's nine. Huh? That one's nine. Yeah. Oh, this is five. <clears throat> this is six. <clears throat> this one's seven. I think I already did. Yep. This one's. This one's eight. This one's nine. You can get any of that more. Ten. This one's eleven. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest again, and then I'll come back. Um, I'll probably finish finish the smaller ones at the 130 to 135 range, but I'm gonna creep up on the big ones. So I'll bring you back when I'm all done. Okay, well the head's all tightened down for now, or for this round, I should say. Next will be. Uh, putting the push rods in and uh, uh, the rocker arms and adjusting the valves, but I'm going to save that for the next video. Whew, making progress. My arms are a little bit tired from all that torquing, you know, doing that sequence, you know, three, four, five times, whatever it was. So, um, yeah, we're making progress. So, I've been told that it's uh, getting time that I need to go in the house and maybe get a little bit cleaner hands and uh, a little bit nicer clothes. Apparently this is not Thanksgiving apparel. Hmm. Imagine that. So, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're going to call this video here. Uh, I'll probably keep working this afternoon, but save that stuff for the next video. Um, I might go out with my daughter and see if she wants to go back to big block. Who knows? So uh, again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. 
Um, no, I still won't say anything about Andy Ohio MM. I'm not going to give him crap today. So we'll save that for Saturday, right? Okay. Hey, we'll see you in the next one.